Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back. I know you're probably sick of me from the past 24 hours. I've been all over the place, but I have to. This is a big event. It's a once in a while thing, so let's just, let's just, we just have to talk about everything. So, yesterday was the Sonic 25th Anniversary San Diego Comic Con event, whatever the hell it was, and it was awesome. It, now, I'm gonna kind of break, we're gonna go through each of the little things that happened, well, big things too, and we're just gonna give a little commentary. So first up, the stream itself, I have to say, bad. It was, like, I don't know, this was an event they were planning for months, and it was so disorganized the way they started late, the way the stream would break down, the way their microphones would cut off. When Aaron Weber's microphone cut off when he was about to make the, the first Sonic game, Sonic Mania announcement, I was freaking out. I'm like, am I really gonna miss this? because of audio issues, but thankfully that got fixed right as the trailer came up. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to say a stream weirdly organized, the way they put things around wasn't really well done. The fact that there's a, there was a part where some guy was talking about nachos and eating them, it was just all sorts of weird shit. So let's just get that out of the way. So the event started off with the uh, Hyper Potions, the DJs playing, and they were actually really cool. I've never heard of them, and this made me want to check them out. They played some sick remixes of like cool Sonic songs that everyone knows and loves. So maybe check them out. I'll probably check them out. I'll leave maybe a link in the comments or something. Maybe I won't, probably won't. So uh, next up, they showed some merchandise stuff, whatever. Then they went right into it. Sonic Mania. Holy shit, you guys saw probably the reaction video. And that game is just, it's beautiful. It's everything a Sonic fan wanted, right? You can't disappoint anyone in this because you're bringing the fat people who only like classic Sonic and didn't like Sonic 4 and you're bringing up the hardcore fans. You're just bringing all sorts of Sonic fans because when they see that art style, they think classic, they think it's awesome and they love it and the reveal was beautiful. The music that played in it, loved it. So that was awesome. That's I already made a kind of discussion video about the game itself, so I'm not going to get into it here. It's more of an event breakdown right now. Next up, uh, that after that, a break was taken for Crush 40 to play live on stage. And I watched through it a little bit. I was busy kind of trying to upload my reactions as I was going along. But uh, it was not bad. I mean, they were playing Crush 40. They played some of my favorite songs. They played uh, Night of the Wind, which I really love. I, they played Live and Learn. They played, uh, I think they played Escape the City. I think so, and uh, yeah, they have played a few more tracks. So that was, if I was there, I would have probably like died of happiness because that band is so awesome. So having them perform live there was just super sick. So uh, next up, the second half started. It had the I'm I'm not sure if it's in order, but there was the Sonic Boom season two sneak peek, which was awesome because again, Sonic Boom games aside, the show is actually really funny and entertaining. So to finally show season two there and uh, give a little sneak preview of it. And it already looks funny and the characters, they showed the voice actors on the stage, they, they talked a bit and it was just, that was a little cool little part. Uh, next up we had what? We had Hello Kitty X Sonic, which is adorable. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a picture of that. That looks so cute. It's like all the Hello Kitty lines mixed with Sonic characters and it's adorable. I think that's slated to release later this fall. You could have gotten some if you were there at the event, but Sadly, we don't have all that privilege. Next up, we had uh, we had Sonic Dash make a little appearance. First of all, they announced the game has had over 200 million downloads. Now, again, that's not necessarily people that play it constantly, but the fact that in total that game has been downloaded 200 million times is insane. So, awesome to that game. They added uh, classic Sonic and Green Hill Zone to the game. I tried it out last night. It's pretty cool. It's not anything that's like, holy shit, I need to play this game now, but it's a cool little um, nod for fans. So then, they showed LEGO Sonic Dimensions, which actually looks so cool. This is is gonna get me to buy a LEGO Dimensions. I have to play this pack, I have to play it because it's Sonic. And it just looked cool. They did everything right. First of all, they had Green Hill Zone in there, so smart move. Uh, you can see there's Emerald, Co Emerald Coast in the uh, backgrounds in there, so that works out well for fans and you can see Sonic is doing spin dash he's, he has a homing attack he has like a like, little ground pound the, the trailer ends with him turning into Super Sonic which is awesome I wonder how you can do that and again the trailer was so cool because you see Sonic riding one of those portal guns you see him going around uh, not Alice in Wonderland the other one the 
yellow brick road or whatever that, uh, Wizard of Oz, that were like, it's so weird to see Sonic in these worlds, like you could probably bring him to Gotham City, it's so weird, but it's so exciting, so that game really looks cool, so look forward to that. Yeah, and then, uh, just as it was about to end off, they're like teasing, they're like, oh, it's over, and then they're like, wait, there's uh, one more thing, and boom, Sonic Project 2017, because we knew initially that when they had showed Sonic Mania, everyone was like, is that the game, is that the game, everyone was cool with it, but they were wondering, is that the main game, but didn't, it wasn't Sonic Team's core game, so... Sonic Project 2017 is the holiday Sonic title for next year. And they showed that trailer, and again, it looked awesome. You saw my reaction and a few of my thoughts, but I loved that trailer. It was so badass. It's going regular Sonic running, and then you see uh, classic Sonic show up. It has this weird, like, not dark feel, but like, it feels like there's going to be a bigger story. Maybe they're going back to, like, the adventure style where there's a lot of dialogue and a lot of story. And it says join the resistance, so you can only assume that the whole Sonic cast is going to join in. Maybe Sonic Boom Sonic will make an appearance, who knows about that. But yeah, that was the overall thought of the event. Now, again, the stream itself wasn't that well done, like a lot of lag, a lot of uh, mess ups and like slowdowns. Even like there, they were there like, uh, sorry, we wasted a lot of time, so we're going to have to speed stuff up. So if they had made this like a, like a one hour and a half, just drop, drop, drop news, it would have been awesome. But again... The announcements themselves were amazing. Like, they really, they know what they're doing now. They, they are bringing Sonic back. Like, I loved yesterday that everyone was talking about Sonic in a positive way. No one was hating. I knew I have the dumb appeal that want to hate for the fun of it, but it was so positive. Sonic was trending for once in such a long time in a positive way. Like, the last time I saw such good reactions about Sonic was like. Sonic Generations time, you know, like even a bit of Lost World, but people were mixed on that. Some people love it, some people don't. But it just felt so good to have everybody come together and be like, Sonic, Sonic, yes, yes. So, beautiful event, beautiful time. I want to know what you guys thought of the event, how you felt about the announcements themselves. I overall loved it. In a weird way, now I'm happy they waited for everything. Like, I am so glad that we got everything in one bang because. Last night was just crazy, it was all about Sonic, it was all announcements. Whenever I thought it was over, it wasn't, it was just beautiful in that term. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, subscribe for more, I'm going to be covering more of the Sonic stuff. I think I'm going to be doing next a Sonic Mania trailer breakdown, I'm going to try to do that. Never done one on this channel, so we'll see where this goes. So thank you all for watching, let me know what you guys thought, subscribe for more, and peace! For now, hedge out.